the Bandit X Trail Light. Hello everyone, welcome to Brian Unbox. In this video, we're gonna look at the Bandit X Trail Light electric bike. This is how it looks when it's delivered. The bike is packaged well and protected with a lot of plastic, paper, and foam. It does require some assembly and the user guide along with the video from the company which I have linked in the description box can walk you through the process. With the bike, you get the charger, pedals, tools, light, and user guide. Just to highlight the assembly process, basically you have to install the handlebars, install the front fender, install the front light, front wheel, attach the pedals, adjust the seat, and adjust the display angle if needed. Briefly going over some specs, the bike comes in three color options, white, desert beige, and black. It has an aluminum alloy frame, step-through design, 750 watt rear motor, 696 watt hour removable battery at 14.5 amp hours, six hours to fully charge. It has a large horizontal LCD color display, six pedal assist levels, twist throttle, 28 mile per hour top speed with pedal assist and 20 miles per hour with the throttle only. Shimano 7 speed shifter, front light, rear light, front and rear fenders and a rear rack, front and rear suspensions. The bike weighs in at 77 pounds and the length is 58 inches. A walk through around the bike you'll see that the front has a front light, front suspension, front fender, 20 by 4 inch tires and hydraulic disc brakes. Towards the middle and the back you can see the battery, the battery keyhole, charging port, rear suspension, kickstand and hydraulic disc brakes. A view from the back you can see the rear rack, the rear light and rear fender. On the right side you have the 750 watt rear hub motor, 7 speed cassette, rear derailleur and a USB port by the battery. By the handlebars, you have the brake levers, bell, controls, USB port, LCD display, twist throttle, and gear shifter. Powering up the display, you are greeted with a lock screen where you have to enter the numeric password. It also has the NFC card unlock, which will now be shipping with the new bikes, an app integration currently under development and available in the future. Once unlocked, you can see the color display with the large numbers and icons, along with the colored power levels. Pressing the plus button will increase the pedal assist levels 1 through 6, and pressing the minus button will decrease it. Pressing the set button will cycle through the range, trip, and time. And holding down the minus button will activate the front and rear lights. And holding the set button for a few seconds will give you access to additional options such as clearing your trip data, changing your units of measure, riding mode, screen brightness, changing the passcode, Bluetooth, and NFC connection settings. Now I'll show some footage of the bike in use. I'll test it out on rough terrain, show the different pedal assist levels, throttle, test the brakes, see how it does uphill, downhill, and then give my thoughts. Okay, now I'm going to do the uh, rough terrain test. Uh, this trail is uh, bumpy. Um, the bike has front suspension forks with a lockout feature. I have the lockout feature off and it also has the rear suspensions along with the fat tires. So it should handle these uh, rough surfaces uh, well. Okay, let's give it a try. Here we go. All right, so far so good. Handling it well, absorbing the bumps. I'm gonna take it on the uh, grassy area here and into the sand. All right, not bad. handle that with no problems.
Okay, now on to the uh, pedal assist uh, test. This has six levels. Um, it starts off with an eco uh, level one and level two, and then a normal level three and level four, sport level five and level six. So it has a nice, uh, beautiful uh, display here, uh, different colors as, as you switch through the uh, different modes. So I will start off with the eco mode, pedal assist one and uh, let's see how fast we can go all the way to pedal assist six after that we'll use the twist throttle only okay so pedal assist one here we go so we're at eight miles an hour right now nine moving to pedal assist two looks like we're at 12 pedal assist three at 16, number four, we're at 18, number five, 21, and number six. So it looks like we're hitting 24 on pedal assist six. Actually, we hit 26 there. So with the uh, pedal assist mode, we got up to 26 miles per hour. Now we'll use the uh, twist uh, throttle and let's see how fast we can go with just uh, the throttle. Okay, here we go. All right, we're at 16, 19, 20. So it looks like it's topping off at 20 miles per hour with the uh, twist throttle only. Now I'll test out the brakes. I'll take it to max speed and once I come into view, I'll hit the brakes and you can use the parking lines as reference. Now I'm going to do the uphill test. Um, I'm just going to use the throttle only and uh, we, we've established that it can peak at 20 miles per hour with the throttle. So this has a nice uh, incline along the way. Let's see if it could uh, maintain the speed or if we lose speed. Um, so here we go. Throttle only. It has a nice uh, gradual acceleration. Uh, the motor is, is a little bit noisy at the start, but it, it does level off um, pretty much in line with um, a lot of the rear hub motors that I've tested. Okay, so we're beginning the climb here. We're holding 19.3 miles per hour. All right, picking up a little bit of speed here. So 20. Let's see how it does in this turn. So 19. So on the uphill test, it held about 19 miles per hour, which is uh, pretty impressive. You know, there was just a minimal loss. Again, it topped off at 20 miles per hour with the throttle only speed. So um, it had uh, good power and maintained uh, the speed. Now I'm going to do the downhill test. Um, I'm probably going to have to slow it down as we approach that turn. So let's see how it does and let's see how it handles. Here we go. All right, we're at uh, 19.8, 20. Just letting it glide here, 21.
So we're holding about 20. So it looks like we're holding 20 uh, down downhill here. Here are my thoughts on the bike. Assembly was straightforward and the user guide along with the video on the website walks you through the process. I had no issues and it took me no more than 30 minutes. The build and quality of the bike is solid. It has a compact look but highly capable and nimble. There were no scratches or imperfections with the paint. Cable management is organized. It's ran through the frame and nothing sticks out. I like the front and rear fenders which are metal and the rear rack with the wooden finish. The ride was smooth and the saddle is wide and very comfortable. There were no rattles, vibrations or noises and the steering felt stable. The handlebars are a good length and height and you don't find yourself hunching over. It handled the rough surfaces with no issues. You have the front, rear suspensions and the fat tires that help you get through the terrain. The 750 watt motor was more than adequate for this frame. Acceleration is smooth and gradual whether using the twist throttle or the pedal assist. It was able to handle the inclines with minimal speed loss. The initial acceleration the motor is a bit loud but levels off as you gain speed. Using the pedal assist I was able to reach 26 miles per hour in my testing. With the throttle only I reached 20 miles per hour. Pretty much in line with the advertised speeds. It also has an estimated range of 70 miles. And that will depend on the pedal assist level throttle usage, your weight, and environment you're in. I like that it has the hydraulic brakes. They had good grip and stopping power. The LCD display is nice and large and easy to read. Very intuitive and you have the different colors to identify the pedal assist modes. Overall, I was quite surprised with the performance of the bike. Don't let the small size fool you. It's very capable and fun to ride. Easy to maneuver and can handle a variety of surfaces. So that is my review of the Bandit X-Trail Lite electric bike. If you like my video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button as well. Until next time, this is Brian Unbox. Take care, everyone.